Hmm. What a weird home. 7902 Hamilton Avenue, Burridge, Illinois. Look at this house. Look at this silly, silly house. What the fuck is going on? It was probably built in 1997. Let's see. 2011. Jeez. What's up with this fucking side garage? It looks like an MC Escher exterior. Look, look, at, look at this. Hey, framers, let's laugh at this stuff. <laughs> what the fuck were they thinking right here? Like, look at this. Hey, let's do like a, a nice Victorian turret bump out. Cool. What kind of windows do you want to put? Tiny ones. This is another I'll take 20 windows guy. Yeah, give me a 20 pack of windows. Hey, Brotino, give me a 20 pack of windows quick. I like this like idiotic oval shaped patio with a fire pit that's like 40 feet away from the deck. Like, cool. Yeah, guys, come on out here and sit. Okay. And it's on the road. Like, you're, that's where you party. It's like on the road. Imagine drinking here and like just your neighbors just staring at you, getting like shit faced, listening to music with your friends. Yeah, this house was like designed by a fucking idiot. Yeah, let's make the kitchen teeny tiny and stuff it in the corner of the room. Good layout. I'm gonna call you Mr. Layout Madness. Nice, shitty granite, ubatuba, fucking run of the mill baseline granite. Nice sun porch. That's this house looks like it was like addition after addition after addition after addition. Let's not put any baseboard in. That's because they replaced the floors and forgot to put the baseboard back. That's what happened here. Might have been a flip that ran out of money. Either way, it looks like total ass. Complete and utter ass of a house. This house is an absolute monster of a nightmare. Just a big old bunch of stupid shit. So I'm sorry. I don't like it. It's a, it's a big stupid house. No, it's stupid is what it is. Yeah. That's what I would say if I was there. I would stay in the car and cry. I wouldn't even get out and I would like let the realtor see me throw a fit and not get out of the car and look at it. I would act like a, like a three-year-old child for real if I went to go see that house. No, I'm not going in. No. And I would like, like shutting the door. Now, come on. We just have to look at it. We have to like, let's, let's appease the realtor. No, she's stupid anyway. 7416 South Grand Ave, St. Louis, Missouri. Yeah, dude. Nice. Nice. Open. Open air, Italian, sweetheart, grandma, basement. First time on the market, generally, generationally owned. Nice tucked away little backyard here in this quaint little neighborhood, tucked away. Tucked away, St. Louis. I actually like it. Quaint little house, little rooms. If you're a big person, it's not gonna fit, but it's nice and small. Count the cabinets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not a big kitchen repair, not a big one. You can do it, you can do Ikea here. Don't spend a lot of money on it. Do. Uh, Nice solid upfits on it. You got a $127,000 house. Don't go crazy, but do uh, change some cabinets and put a backyard in. I think you got a nice place to live and uh, you got a nice starter home that you might end up keeping for the rest of your life. So nice piece of property. Honestly, the layout of it's good. I like that stuff. It looks like it's built to last. Thank you very much for sending oh, wow. this to me. Oh, built in 2013. What a mess. What happened here, big boy? <laughs> what happened here? Oh no, there's problems. Wow, look at the beautiful, what are those? What are those sycamore trees? What do they call those? Wow, look, oh no, it's not a nice house. It's a piece of shit. Damn it, you got me, you fooled me. No ba again, we're gonna go second house in a row. You wanna talk about the life as a computer simulation? How is it, what are the odds that back to back we have both houses with the entire base, uh, baseboard missing off the whole thing? No finish, no finish work in the entire house. Wow. What an absolute travesty of a house. Look at this fucking, guys, look at this vent hood. Look at this combo, <laughs> like, why even bother? Put nothing. <laughs> Like, look at the stove set. I'd rather have like, no what, stove. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather, I'd rather have a guy sitting there. <laughs> like, I'd rather have the, the guy tied yeah, up. Just a guy, like, sitting there and be like, please room. buy it, please. If you buy it, you can let me go. I made a mistake. Look, look, I made a mistake, okay? I don't know how to build houses. All right, fine. I'm a fucking idiot, all right? God damn. Um, I don't believe that it was built in 2013, though. I just don't. I can't believe it. Gorgeous to Ortega River. So many possibilities. Oh, geez. That's uh, crazy. Oh, is that? Oh, that's my phone dying, probably. Yeah. Look at that. Would you look at that? <laughs> my phone dying again. Go figure. Yeah, I'll pass on that, obviously. It's a shame. The guy had, like, the right idea. He tried to build, like, a, a French modern, like, a style house or like that. I would have looked that. If he would have pulled that off, I thought it would I think that would have looked nice. But he totally flopped. Like, totally just fell. He probably framed it and then just fell out of the sky. Like, I would love to hear that guy's story. Um, Seriously, he's probably, he's probably so drunk right now, sitting in somewhere in uh, Jacksonville, Florida, drinking at like some place called a like, Gators Pub or something like that. Torado Loop, Bellin, New Mexico. Ooh, a geodesic. Whoa. Thank you for showing, my friend. A double geodesic. Look at that. A Mega Man hat, huh? huh? Look at that. Very nice. How much was it? Three. Okay. Was it three? 
269. All right. I don't want a 69 in this house. Yeah, I could 69 in there. Yeah, you could do a stand-up 69 to this house. That's when they cartwheel into you. Wow, that's, uh, I love it. I hope the inside looks good. Because it's dry out there. Nice wall. Well, I mean, no no leaking problems, though. Yeah, it's not going to, yeah. like, there's no, like, heavy weather. I, mean, I don't know what the heavy weather. Damn, this is nice. I like this a lot. This is a buy. <clears throat> Yeah, I like it a lot. Um, I don't like the barley. They call that barley twist. I don't yeah. like barley twist posts, but I guess you're living in a dome, so you're gonna get like fucking gypsy people that live. Yeah. In, you know, that's you're buying this stuff off a guy named Wolf. You know what I mean? Yeah. Who believes in like bell harmonics and shit like that? It's. I mean, the guy built a house with a treehouse inside it. This is so he can like you can go up here and you can like grow your pubes out and stuff. Wow, look at this. Look at that. What the fuck is that? A water purification system? It probably adds um, fucking crystals and fucking eagle feathers or something in it. <laughs> Good for him. Yeah, no, that's nice. Um, wow, look at that. See, look at the framing in that. So the way these geodesics, you just keep building the same thing over and over and over again. That's kind of like... Um, but I actually like it a lot. It's not. I don't know if it's finishable or if you can get a loan on it, but it's got a... It's like a runoff water storage system. I don't know, man. That's cool. That's... I like it a lot. I, re yeah, I really appreciate cool. you selling this, sending us this. Um, I mean, other than the finishes, I mean, it's two sixty nine. I'm not gonna, I'm not going to be a prick about finishes. It's cheap. The structure looks good. That's a nice. That's a nice piece, man. I'd, I'd go for it. I know New Mexico. Oh, it's seventeen acres. Yeah, it's a buy. I think you could buy that in Airbnb. That if you finished it correctly, like really nice, and that would be a hell of an Airbnb where it didn't cost you an arm and a leg. It'd be an experien experiential stay. I mean, I don't know what's going on in Belen, New Mexico. <laughs> yeah. Like the craziest shit. You're just getting attacked. There's a guy like putting, he's putting a blood stripe down your nose immediately. You're like, oh, fuck. You're just like a finance bro from like Duke University. I just wanted to get out of the city for a weekend. Bro, I, bro, 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 chill. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. And war chant just fucking, you're like, oh, shit, dude. Like, oh, well, okay, welcome to the neighborhood. All right, all right, all right. I don't know. Um, New Mexico is very beautiful, though. Like, very, very pretty. Um, Native American style design. Style design. Uh, I was, uh, we got stuck in traffic one time in New Mexico crossing the country. And uh, it was snowing and the sky was orange. It looked like a, really? an acid trip. It was fucking beautiful. Union Street, Hudson, New York. Sweet. Thank you. A million dollars for this in Hudson. Holy shit. Damn. It's nice though. Oh, I like that. Now they did all the raw finish on the walls. Good job. Nice. Yeah, Hudson's stylish, man. Hudson's like uh, up and coming. I like it. Ooh, that's nice, pretty. Ooh, pretty, good job. Yeah, no, great, 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 great. They, they did the thing that I like when you, um, you take a two family and you make it down to a really nice one family. Obviously, you're like shooting yourself in the foot money-wise, but not really. Um, great. I love the, the, the raw, like the, the style they did. If this is the house you sent me, I'm not 100% sure, but I actually really, really like it a lot. It's really well done. The materials used are just kind of like natural. I, I'll, like I'll take this is acceptable for for me. This this like this gets a pass. Um, it's kind of DIY, but it's got taste. It's got a little little garden seat built into the wall. I had a house with one of those one time. Mm. My Sturbridge house had a, a little stone wall with a garden seat. Um, very very nice wine cellar. Obviously, like when you touch the wall, everything's like really rough. But um, really great job. Um, they just kind of sanded it down and cleared over it, but uh, tastefully modded. Nice job on it. Um, I don't know what the fuck the uh, the surface mount electrical is a little bit much, but that's okay. Um, and then this back, this backyard is just really fantastic. But for a million dollars, you can blow me. This area is fucking, dude. Hudson's like just getting it. Let's see how much you bought it for. I want it for what you paid. Let me shake your hand. Oh, you're down to a million fifty because you did a two hundred thousand dollar price drop. Why? Because you bought it for two hundred thousand. <laughs> that's why you did that. You're not catching me, asshole. Not today. Not tomorrow. But no, uh, good, nice house though. Really, they did a really good job with it. But they, I mean, come on, you just stripped it down and cleaned it. You didn't do much work. Don't, don't start. Eight Eleven Oak, Oakwood Avenue, Lake Forest, Illinois. I mean, how how American of a home is this right here, guys? I mean, we are looking at the golden retriever of homes. I mean, this thing just does not stop giving. Look at this. I could tell right off the rip. I mean, this is quaint. Yeah. For Christ's sakes. God, John Smith lives in this house, and Mary Parker, great job. Great job on the yuppie build, cabinets to the ceiling, really well done craftsmanship. You can tell they, they tastefully modded the $12,000 double wolf stove, nice job on that. 
but for a million two in Illinois, it fucking better. Um, soapstone, honed soapstone. So guys, um, when you do that, when you pick your finish with certain um, certain stones, you can get a honed finish, which is like a dulled, or you can get a gloss finish. But I don't know. If, I don't even know if this is, but it looks like it's soapstone, which is nice. Um, it marks up and it's got its drawbacks, but uh, I like that. If you get the leathered, that's kind of like a new, like a textured leathered or a matte. Um, but you can look into that kind of stuff. I like the uh, ABC Stone Marble, the Calicutta Marble. That's the fancy shit. I love that. Can't afford it, but I like it. If the world was perfect, my cabinets would be green with a pink Calicutta Marble. I've seen it installed in a few houses in some of the, the blogs I follow. It would probably go out of style right away, and I'd be down 40 grand. All right, Coors Light, silver motherfucking bullet, asshole. Here we go. Kevin, take the beer boxes off the wall. Mommy and Daddy are trying to sell the house. No, Mom! Get the fuck out, Mom! I'm playing beer! I'm playing beer drink with my friends! I'm playing beer? I'm playing Guitar Hero with my beer drink friends! <laughs> fucking dumb... God, she's so fucking stupid, Dad! Wow. Like, that's, that's kind of, like, amazing. Like, this house is so nice. Yeah. Like, to have this in the basement is, like, how much, like, honey? How much does this, like, problem child that you have, like, destroy your will to live. Like, holy shit, that's, that's not a man cave. Like, what are you, psychotic? Jesus Christ, like, alcoholic frat shit, son. Oh, there's a showing? You're trying to sell the fucking house that we grew up in? Nice backyard with a built-in fireplace and all that, good brickwork. I love everything. I mean, it's got, what's not to like? You got. Hydrangeas everywhere. You got fucking fire pit, humongous patio back there. Low maintenance, nice low maintenance. Million dollars, and you got fucking beer box. The, the fire pit going into the chimney is something I haven't really on the back side. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, the back side of the that's chimney. Cool. Yeah, you have to considerately do that. You have to you have to talk to the mason. Yeah, um, you can do it. Um, it's cool. I, I like that. Hey. Uh, real quick, guys, before we get into this one, if you're here and you're enjoying it, do us a favor. This is the only thing we'll ask. Like the stream. Click the like button. Brings new people in. Um, and it helps us for real. So just it's do the that. Biggest for deal. Us. It's our biggest deal. The like button is super important. Apparently, YouTube called and they said they need it. Yeah. Hey Nick, can I? You got a minute? I'm like, yeah. What's going on? It's like it's me, YouTube. <laughs> hey man, it's been a rough week. I uh, I need you to do me a solid. I need I need to get likes. It's been a, it's bad, dude. I mean, I'm up till four or five in the morning, the pills, yeah. the pain, the back pain. That's what YouTube said, so I don't know, whatever. We're just doing what they tell We're, us yeah. at this point. That's it. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. 18101 Banner Road, Lexington, $11,000 price cut, built in 1950, 20 acres. Let's see how bad this fucking flip is inside, or good. What did you buy it for? Wow, this thing's been all over the market. Oh, holy shit. What the fuck's going on? What, do you have a psychopath? It was, it was for rent. It sold in 2016 for 135 and then they tried to rent it for 1300 a month. Then they tried to list it for a half a million. Now they're down to 300 on it. What happened? Someone panicking? I mean, the tile's a bit much, but I, like, that's, I think like, the, the hottest tile on the market was like that, that kind of color. There was like, a green tile. I don't know the name of the company. Jake will know the name of it. He bought it and put it in a bathroom in a cape. Um, but that was, so it was good intent? It was good intent. That's, like, that's wicked expensive. It's probably like a knockoff, which is a smart way to do it. You get a knockoff of the really expensive tile, and that's what they did there. Um, shitty bathroom, rehab, really, really bad. Um, that's good, though. Painted the doors black, poorly, really bad paint job. You could have put a second coat on. The ugly, new-style Target, Target house um, Home Depot tile. That Home Depot, that's, the, that's Home Depot's latest. That's a 2021 addition to the Home Depot tile pattern selection. We called it the, the Home Style Collection, probably. Um, but nice. Uh, I think they tried. Uh, they, they did like a lot of good things to it. Um, honestly, it didn't look like they tried to gaff it too bad anywhere. You know what I mean? I think it was all well intended. Again, want to look at the mechanical. It looks like their plan. It looks like honestly, what that looks like to me is a guy with the wheels are coming off. The plans like. This, this person had a plan in 2016, or maybe someone died or divorced or something like that, but that's, that's kind of like what happened. Um, it's got a nice big layout. I like it. I think it's, I think it's a nice house. And it looks like it was, it was they were, someone told them at one point, some, maybe the, the realtor was uh, you know, high on something, but 
Someone told him he could list it, and it was listed for 475. So, like, at one point, there were at least three people that were involved in the sale of this thing that said, Yeah, sure, we'll give it a try. And now they're down to almost half. So, yeah, give it a whirl. Five and a quarter. Congratulations. Chelmsford, Mass. Not cheap to live this? in. This motherfucker just bought this house. Boom! Big side yard. Look at that. Big berry. Put some blueberry bushes in there with some, some berry netting. Um, a nice, clean, looks like a flipped house. Um, clean enough. Let's see how many. No, they kept the original floors. Bad kitchen cabinets. That's okay. We expected that. You can take those cabinet doors off. You can buy new cabinet doors. Just keep them. And then you have the granite guy come in and be a hero. Call Infinite Granite. They're really big. They're huge out there. The guy's nasty. Tell him Nick with the weird house in Southbridge sent you and the weird house out in Rhode Island. He'll know who's calling. He's a great guy. Super talented granite and marble specialist that knows exactly what's up. He knows the fucking drill. Um... Yeah, nice house, man. Congratulations. Um, I hope they left all the uh, the Patriot stuff. Did they leave the uh, oh, nice baseball chair? He's a sportsman. Looks like nice new heat. Look at the size of the fucking panel. How much fucking power you got in this fucking thing? Jesus Christ. Um, damn, yeah. Nice. I like the yard. I really, I really, I love, and good. See, nice granite, old school granite curbing set up the fireplace. Obviously, you're going to get better than these gray Home Depot Jam Adirondack chairs. A little free shed with a fucking firewood storage. Is there a fireplace in this house? I didn't see a fireplace. Looks like it's next to a city park, so you can hear kids fist fighting in the middle of the day. But, um, no, it's great. That's a, it's a, front porches are great. Um, it's, got a, it's got a few little freebies and just enough for you to fuck around and make it a little more perfect. I know living near Boston metro area is just outrageously expensive, so good for you. House was built in 1900. Please don't refer to it as a Victorian. A lot of people that have these houses call them old Victorians. They're not. I hate that. <clears throat> but I've heard a lot of people in my, my uh, era call these houses Victorians. We have a ton of them in New England. Um, so good for you. Let's see how you... Yeah, hey, good for you. Didn't, they, they didn't go ham on the rehab, so it's not like you had to fucking pay them for it. So good job. Nice fit in. Congratulations, guys. Seriously, I hope you have fun time in the yard. I'd love to come piss my pants in your backyard drinking some IPAs. 31. Quintessa. Circle. Las Vegas. All right, badass, baby, Las Vegas. Ha <laughs> ha, going out there wild style. Oh, yeah, Sammy Hagar, baby. <laughs> Holy shit. Nine and a half million. This is your ex? Can you call and get back with her, dude? Yeah, that's what he was saying in his comment. He says his biggest regret was uh, Breaking up severing with... himself from her family because that's what he would have been living in right, right now. Right, just like snorting lines of caviar all day? Damn. Yeah. yeah, I mean, Las Vegas obviously is a fucking total shithole toilet dump, and everybody in the world knows that's 100% fact. But this house is actually really nice. Regional stonework, right? That's the stone of the area with this, like, whitewashed brick. That's, like, kind of, like, region correct. I don't like the way they tuck the TV in there, but um, I mean, look at these fucking trusses. Look at these custom built trusses. These are fucking gorgeous. Mm -hmm. They put those in with a crane. Really? Yeah, like a fucking dookie crane. Look at that. Nice brickwork with the, uh, what do they call that? Barrel vaulted ceilings, I think they, no, that's uh, not this. Barrel vault, uh, art, the archway is just brick, beautiful, fucking. See, butcher block, not on all of it, just on some of it, classy. And they put a bullnose on the butcher block, very nice touch. I like this medieval fucking the dark night. Um, oh, the kitchen floor looks a little. Oh, we put like stainless steel rivet rivet look kitchen tile. I love the floor to ceiling double sided hallway windows. Very nice touch. You walk down there bare ass at night. You got a little bar. You got a zebra. The zebra lost his life for this house. Wow, look at that. They're obsessed with Africa. Maybe African safaris. Wow. He shot a kudu, or a kuzu. What is that, a kudu? Whoa, look at the Harley in the window. Are you fucking serious, bro? Dude. Holy shit. Hey, Dad, check that out. Hey, babe, Harley window. Hey, look, I got a fat boy in the window. Screaming eagle. Rah! Holy shit. Just staring at you. Look at my, look at my Harley's a peeping Tom pervert. Ah, he wants to watch me play pool, right, Harley? Yeah. Call your ex's dad. What's with the fucking Harley in the window? That's like, out, is he on a Harley Davidson dealership? Jesus Christ. Wow, fucking huge built-in closets. Nice hideaway office. Beautiful green jade granite. Tw 12 by 12 tile, though. 12 by 12 tile. <laughs> Ooh, a massage table in the gym. I wonder what goes on after the massage. Table. Somebody's getting milk. Yeah, whoa, look at the, wow, look at this. That must have been, that must have been your 
the baby girl's room by us. <laughs> Stainless steel and an orange. This guy's got to be a Harley guy. That's a very masculine, masculine toned picking. Some seems like a wow, a nice truck. I got the same truck, but mine's the 2021. I have the same exact truck, the crew cab. Do that's the is that a Harley Davidson edition F350? That's a 13. It's a bad year for that truck. Um, basketball court. Look at the pool. Holy shit, oh. Man, imagine the shit this kid did in that pool. Look at the catwalk built into the fucking pool. I mean, it's a little small, but it's kind of cool. Um, I mean, really, absolutely stunning. What a fucking house. Jesus Christ. I mean, that's what Las Vegas money looks like right there, folks. Tasteful Las Vegas. Very difficult to pull off. All I think of when I think of Las Vegas money, guys, is like some like dude. Everybody looks like the Count, the car guy, the Count. Yeah. Like long black hair and like a goatee and like fucking thick bandana like Brett Michaels yeah, Brett Michaels yeah. core <laughs> like she pulled her big old boobies out and hi yo <laughs> oh yeah baby oh yeah come on rocking and rolling what I'm really looking at because I'm a passionate individual and I love rock and roll okay, man yeah that's uh great I'm sorry yeah. that you don't get to how have... sh how can he get her back fucking sing yeah, I know how he can get her back he buys her dad Brett Michaels tickets meet and greet backstage and then he starts wearing ripped jeans yeah a red bandana, a blonde long, grow his hair out long, paint it blonde, paint his nails, wear lip gloss, get tan, and look just like Brett Michaels in 1991. That's how you're gonna, and you're gonna win her back. This house in Waterville Valley sucks. <laughs> it's like, it's like wicked expensive. $5.99 for this like, like I get it, but it's just, you know when you'll get that money? When pigs fly. <laughs> I mean, it's nice, two-car garage with a man door, like a nice, considerate two-car garage. That part's nice. Is that, is that the side of the house? Or is that a separate, detached garage? Um, it's cluttered. It needs everything. These kitchen cabinets are the cheap fucking oak ones that we see in every house. They're just painted gray poorly. Um, they should have changed the door style. They're just too cheap. So that's a really bad upfit. The tile floor absolutely sucks ass. I don't know what the fuck they tried to do for this kick plate right here, but that's an embarrassing moment in time for them no rug underneath the dining room table what are you trash what do you slide the fucking wood the do you slide the chair on top of the floor scratching the the shitty oak looks like your garage your german shepherd already did a number on it anyway um barn fr glass french doors that's not a real thing that's two styles mixed together that sucks looks like ass ap yeah. welcome to severe beast hey um sunflower uh, bad, bad all over. Obviously, you know that this, this, after you put this 2006 glass tile top in a vessel sink, this fucking, uh, god awful. After you put this in, you should have jumped on. You should have put your hands in your pockets, jumped up and fell forward into this fucking sink, cracking your head, maybe st knocking some sense into you. Just a really bad, puffy furniture house. Absolute, oh, home office. I mean, look at this fucking shower right here. Like, look at this shower. What the fuck kind of shit do you want staring at you when you're trying to wash yourself? When you're trying to wash yourself in your sex shower with your masturbator, with your masturbation wand, do you want to be staring at a sun with a face on it? Honestly, that's a really important question, right? We're always, we're never, we're always overlooking mental health these days, and nothing bothers me more than that. But let me ask you a serious question. Let's get on a serious note. When you're taking a shower with your masturbation wand shoved up your ass, do you want to be looking at a, at a southwestern style design sun with a face on it in your shower that's, that has a mosaic tile motif at the top that makes less than any, that looks like a fucking someone who landed on this planet two months ago designed? Like, look at this tile job in this fucking shower. Oh my God, how many times am I going to do that? <laughs> Bro. That could be one of the worst bathrooms we've seen here on scuffed a realtor here another more more great tile ideas let's just cut up a 12 by 12 glass backsplash tile from home from home depot we'll get all we have to do is buy two oh no we don't have to buy two tiles we'll just use the remnants left over from the belt line that we put in that's not a real design so i'm sorry man but even jesus can't save you you're in trouble said jesus i don't like what you put in he said, Father, save me. And then you have the fuck palace with the 19 sliding glass doors. And hey, why not let it cost 599000 in Waterville, Maine? This house sucks so bad. Anybody who pays 599 for that should be ashamed of themselves. 
That should be a sh- they should be ashamed of themselves. 